Shumai for the eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into playing Planet Zoo and I'm continuing in the Permamarca Educational Reserve and we're going to do a quick little speed build to start off. So there was these three baby warthogs that we got from Tiff and no parents so I got some parents and I also added in blue wildebeest because the warthog and the wildebeest live happily together and you get an interspecies bonus so they live in together next to the nine banded armadillos so they got a nice little habitat ready for them i just couldn't believe that tiffany had baby warthogs and didn't have any like adults with them i thought that was really really sad but we've got some adults in there with them now so these baby warthog are all happy in there uh along with the blue wildebeest i just needed to make sure everyone was happy in their little habitat and i also needed to start researching the warthog as well that's why i did it off camera so i could do all the research and stuff too because i've also been researching other animals in the background as well to get the, I think it was three species to level three and I needed the war dogs to level four. So I've been researching those off camera and that's why I've technically done this habitat off camera as well, just so I could start all of my research for the war dogs. The other thing I did was some conservation education boards, conservation boards, because education is gonna be a big part of this. So obviously it's like an educational reserve so I've placed lots of education conservation boards that's the one conservation boards down and started to switch out all of the different display things because with conservation boards you can't have the same theme or the same education screen next to each other because it kind of doesn't boost their education anymore and once they've read one they're not going to want to read the next one within like two feet uh so i placed them all down stacked them all around and then swapped the or changed the education themes per board so i just kind of go down the list and then work my way around it <laughs> because obviously like there'll be enough space then between each board for the guests to be more interested in them and general just like zoo management because that tends to be the most difficult thing when playing a career scenario is making sure all the animals are happy <laughs> i did end up getting uh protesters i don't know whether i got caught that on camera but i did get protesters i know i took a screenshot of them <laughs> i don't know whether i caught them on camera they were protesting because my wallabies escaped i'm still not quite sure how they escaped i think the barriers were slightly too low in one space but i've sorted that out as well i also got a new graphics card in between playing the first career mode part and this one so i'm so excited for better graphics settings on planet zoo i'm also hoping that i don't get too much uh encoding overloading as well so we're actually like in the zoo now <laughs> oh my mechanic research is complete thanks i like research I've been researching food and drink shops because I need some kind of guest average happiness and hunger and they enjoy having a variant of shops so I've just been researching those in the background. I thought I would leave like the education and the tours and everything off camera because I literally have no idea what I'm doing there so I thought it'd be fun to do it together. <laughs> Maybe we'll learn together as well. Uh, animal talks are easy. That's one of the easier things. So if we go into facilities. And I go into my favourites. Animal talk point is just behind my camera. But that's what one of these looks like. Where should we put them? I think an animal talk point would be good in here. Let me put my light on. I can actually see in the dark. I think an animal talk point would be good in this building. Maybe I should put it like here. That's good. Let me get out of that. 
not the guest. This one. Scenery rating's not bad either. Uh, maned wolf. And the wolf can be in January. Perfect. So the scenery rating's not bad for this. We have a one done. At least two. Okay, so they actually need to like go through the animal talk. Okay. And so dark. Uh, trying to think of like less full areas. Like I can't put an animal talk point like here. That would be a disaster. We've also got some like counters and shops going on as well. Uh, I really do think that would be disastrous if I did that. So maybe we put the animal talk point back here. That's a bit better. Just want to make sure there's enough room back here for the animal talk. Can throw food. Perfect. Oh, look at all the little baby emus. The one thing that I didn't know how to do was the tour. And I have no idea how you get a good star rating for the tour either. Do we need to... What do we need to do for this? The lighting's still really odd on this game, but the water reflections are much better now if I go into this. Wow, look. Oh, wow. We actually have water reflections now. I bet you didn't notice that, uh, that we didn't have it before, but now it's there, you notice it. Because <laughs> I'm the same. Uh, what should we do? Okay, so go back into facilities with the zoo tour thingy. Tour point. How do these work? I don't know. We should have a tour point to start, right? Does it need to start by the entrance? I don't know. But we'll put one here. Tour point not assigned to any tour. Open tour manager. Select tour start. Tour one. Okay. Problem. Okay. <laughs> I still don't quite know what's going on. Should we make them go this way? Call this. Yeah. Okay. Now we have two. Now can I open tour manager? Select tour start. This one. Confirm. Okay. We just needed more than one. So that's the tapiers. Right. Educational content. We'll go for monarch for this one. Yep. Oh, so you can have like an animal talk. For both sure um, let's get some more tour points going uh, definitely the main wolf and maybe well the main wolf has already got one haven't they so maybe I shouldn't have put one in the butterflies <laughs> but put, put it for the giant tortoise instead and and then we'll go down, see the nine banded armadillo, and then we'll end it with the blue wildebeest and war dogs. That sounds fun, right? <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so you will be the tapia. The butterflies have got a selected one. Not monarch, giant tortoise, uh, nine banded armadillo, and then should we do common warthog or blue wildebeest? Blue wildebeest because it's a grasslands animal. <laughs> that makes more sense, right? And then we'll open the tour manager, select points. Do I have to do them in order? So this one. Then this one. Then this one. And 
then this one, and then this one. Open tool manager, select end, and that's gonna be you. Confirm. I feel like we're, we're actually like sitting and listening to the animal talk with them. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, I'll learn. I have no idea. Oh, they did throw food too, there you go. <laughs> Don't actually need my light on for that. It's a good crowd. I'm glad I expanded the pass a little bit. And that's that done. Oh, look, they cheered and everything. Great. So that, that should have been... It should have been done. Oh, hang on. Okay, we've had the two animal talks in a year. Uh, but the zoo tour is still really low. Do I need more animals in it? So the educational value is low. Education, educator skill is low. Guest well-being is low. Tour layout is low. And scenery is low. How? Oh, we have intermissions? Maybe I should add intermissions in then. For like snacks? I can do that. We'll put some snacks like up here somewhere. Maybe? Because we have more food and drink now. Guest and staff facilities. Yeah, perfect. Yep, that works. Maybe I just needed some more intermissions. Uh, we'll have another intermission point. And we'll put that down where I've got the other snacks, which is like down here. We'll have an intermission here too. We need a specific educator just for tours, apparently, because uh, they've been waiting a long time for them. And all of my educators are overworked already. Oh my, mm, panic. Okay, let's just put an educator there. And let's just hope for the best for you. Where did you go? Are you gonna do a tour for me? Can I specifically give you just a tour? Oh, did we do it? We did it. <laughs> we just had to start the tour and my educators were busy. Oh, no. Right. Let's get our spoiled Tory Tiff voice on. <laughs> Have you seen the news? And by news, I mean social media. I'm like a celebrity now. <laughs> I mean, I was a celebrity before, but now people are saying nice things about me. <laughs> I guess working at the zoo has really helped the world see the true me and how much I care about animals, especially the endangered ones, or at least the cute endangered ones. Although when I really think about it, even the ugly ones have an important place in nature too. Just not in front of any cameras. <laughs> anyway, we're having a big renovation back at the house. So I guess those animals I lent the zoo are staying with you unless that's finished with plus you need to find space for the rest of my animals because they just found the ones i moved to the pool house by the way you better have egyptian gunk <laughs> i was doing so well by the way you better have egyptian cotton towels because they will not settle for anything less now tiffany <laughs> Oh, okay, at least you didn't call her dad. <laughs> thanks, Tiff. Really, thanks. Ah, um, we got the silver statue. Lovely. Reward. What have we got? Oh, we got a baby dying tortoise. No. We've got a, a lion? That means I've got to buy lions. Oh, no. Uh, let's put them in the storage. Oh no, so the giant tortoise can go straight into the zoo because we already have a tortoise habitat. That's easy. <laughs> uh, you can't find research centers. That... 
Okay. You are right, Frost? I don't know whether you actually heard that. Uh, let me just pause. Might not be in the same position. <laughs> but Frost is good now. Uh, I can't believe all we were waiting for was an educator for that and I was just like, why isn't it good enough? <laughs> no way. Okay, let me release. Do we have a white one? Oh, look at you! What, what are you? Look who stick! White shaggy feathers! Ah! Look at you! Oh, she's got blue eyes! Wow! It's supposed to be like a lot easier to get different variations in career mode than in sandbox. But look! We have a look who stick! Emu! Wow! Look at you, pretty birdie. At least 11 different species, so like the lion's going to be one of them. But there are no male West African lions at the moment. Okay, can we put more in with the blue wildebeest and the common warthog? Yes, we can put African buffalo in there. Do we have African buffalo? Yes. Are these my new ones? Yes. How are you doing? You need water. Oh. Okay. We'll sort that out first. Okay. I think there's going to be a lot of like off camera work from this now. Because we still need to find a half decent West African lion. That one's not great either. We need a good West African lion. We need to add another animal in. Uh, guest happiness is so close. An overall zoo rating of four as well. Which, as soon as I get my marketing up, I think we'll be good with that. But I, I'm worried about putting marketing in while I haven't quite got a lot of money. I lost money last year. How shameful. Uh, will you stop? Right. Marketing. I need to spend 10 grand. 10 grand, hang on. Wait. 10,000 on marketing over two years. So I just need 5,000 and 5,000, right? And I got my zoo rating up. I knew that would happen. So maybe I. Newspaper, CBO box. Right. Just in case, I'll put two on. Hopefully that'll be good and we'll get more guests in. I think we should also add in the Caracal for the next habitat. I think that'll be a really good one to add in. So uh, next time it'll be the Caracal and the West African Lion. We're going to do lots of cats. <laughs> that was overwhelming <laughs> there was a lot to do but my tips to get silver for the perma marker educational reserve the research center should have been placed down during bronze the rescue animals are baby warthogs and i would place them in a habitat with the blue wildebeest so they can have some interspecies bonus and because the rescue animals are babies, you need to buy a male and female adult common warthog as well. You also need two or three of each of the butterflies. That is super easy. Uh, you should have added in the butterflies in the bronze section. So if you don't have all of them, add more into the walkthrough habitat. Your research two habitat species up to level three should have been going on in the background as you were adding all of these things in. And also start researching the common warthog as quick as you can as well. So as soon as you place those down into your mixed habitat, start researching. Send your staff for training as much as you can as well. It does cost more. You do have to pay your staff more, uh, but they are when they're more highly trained, they're better at their jobs. Two animal talks in a year. When you place your animal talks down, make sure there's enough space 
for the animal talk so maybe make your path a little bit wider put it in a less crowded spot in the zoo because there's certain congested areas that is probably not ideal to put an animal talk in the zoo tour <laughs> that was probably the most difficult part of silver for me was the zoo tour you need at least three tour points in the zoo i've probably added too many in what you need to do is grab a zoo tour marker just search for tour in the facilities and you'll find it you need three different ones uh start wherever you need to go and an end once you've placed down your tour point open tour manager and it'll say select tour start select points select tour end and assign species to talk activities. You can add in as many habitats as you want and you can also add in intermissions near shops. For gold, I would recommend starting to look for West African lions and starting to save up for West African lions because they are very, very, very expensive. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload long form videos on Wednesday, speed builds, gameplay and short form tutorials on Saturdays. I also upload on TikTok and Instagram with different tutorials as well. If you're interested, follow me over there. I've got, uh, all my links are in the description and yep i'm gonna leave it off there thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time goodbye